Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. I have to make a video to explain why I didn't upload for, ugh, not that it really is necessary, but I didn't upload for two weeks. And that's because I kind of got stuck in my own head when it comes to Space Engineers. I had a video and it ended with me crashing this drone because I, um, it didn't react. It kind of got wonky and just didn't turn and didn't fly to wherever I wanted it to fly. And I can't explain why. I don't know why. It might be because of the gyroscope just borking out or whatsoever. But I said to myself, hmm, I want to really go and uh, mess everything up and <laughs> throw everything out of the window and add aerodynamic physics. And I really ran into that. I really ran into aerodynamics physics. Really crazy. Uh, played around with it for two weeks. Couldn't get anything to run. It is just... I, I was trying to get... Uh, uh, just a, the normalest plane to fly and it wouldn't it wouldn't fly it, or it it flew but not really well everything was slow slowed down so the thrusters were not able to really push the whole thing uh like crazy and i'm pretty sure it has something to do with um yeah with the I don't know. It's Mars. Mars doesn't have a crazy atmosphere that I could use to fly. And maybe that was the issue in the end. But the whole thing just wouldn't fly at all. And I, um, I then downloaded a plane that should work because I'm, I tried using, uh, I tried using uh, a script done by Tech or a Patrick Hansen that d did an aerodynamic, uh, aerodynamic physics script to kind of um, have something like a fly-by-wire system where the whole. Why are my Thrusters not working like they should. Ugh, that's awful. Um, and the the, the it, I don't know that thing worked, but it didn't work perfectly. So now I kind of decided to give up on it because it also made everything really, really slow. And so I. I went away from that and now we are back on track and the, it seems the, the UAV now works. I'm, I'm sorry for not showing anything but it was just frustrating as hell to just uh, to just go and um, to just go and I want to go here. So we do this new from current position. I want this. Um, there's another. There's another place where we can grab ice. I don't know if I explained that already. That's the question. I threw basically threw away the whole thing. The the whole. Oh, I know what the problem is. Come on closing closed now we can speed up so i want to grab ice with pipelines bring that back to base um the drive with the trucks is now crazy long and the big drill can't or the the carrier can't do the drive through the whole canyons that i dug to to get the to get the to get the th truck through so what we will be doing is we will find 
these the closest eyes that I can get the the top there or this drive there and I've done another tank that I want to bring out and use to then build um, maybe two static drills grab some ice from there and then build pipelines to go back to the base and have it um, view from current position and then have it oh, there, yeah <laughs> see the, the whole thing took so long that my oh what is that um the whole thing took so long that now we have the new update the the newest um the newest update from keen and it is the most wanted i think it is called and there's a camera camera overlay in there that now has on the camera uh a crosshair and i'm i have to admit I really like it. It's a neat update that uh, that Keen has put out there that will will be a bit of trouble because I can get rid of some of the some of the things now. Where's the Where's the big rover? Our space is there. That is then it must be this one. Seven mixed signals. Yeah, that's that's where we are going. Back to... Um, yeah, I, I really had trouble. And the trouble is not over. The world is running. It It is... It is going... It's on its way out, basically. Because the, the world is just... Uh, we are down to... I don't know... 0 0.6 0 0.7 um, when it comes to the simulation speed and that's just not enough it it slows down like hell and cleaning up cleaning up the world is is a really really troubling thing come on okay we have to come through again we will just turn on a dime and do the whole thing again that that by the way is not aerodynamic physics we are back on the on the aerodynamic wings and they are just whoa what is happening <laughs> i need to i need to close or open the, the flaps earlier um, the aerodynamic wings are just easier and I, I'm sorry for for not having anything on that because it's just the aerodynamic we, uh, physics is that's a crazy mod and that really 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 that's really the the thing what that brings in why am I not slowing down Why am I not slowing down? Come on now. Touch down. Handbrake. Man, that was complicated. So the The aerodynamic physics really brings the engineer part into space engineers it's you you really have to be specific how you then build your stuff no not re crazy specific but you you have to be put really attention into it and it slows down everything because if you want to be speedy in a in a plane power but the problem is that you have to put weight on it then you have to put everything into it and that's just it's really hard to do hard to do i'm i'm and i have to i have to admit that i got frustrated really really hard with it 
Um, especially because once I had a plane that flew, I thought about taking the concept plane that Patrick Hansen has put out and just modifying it so because it is a one with a cockpit and then make it into a drone and I, I've built drones that fly. I wanted to maybe convert that but that thing was also very very slow um, and I'm pretty sure aerodynamic physics does something with the lack of atmosphere here that it doesn't give you as much lift that it doesn't give you as much power I'm I'm pretty sure there's there's something going on with with that so um, did I turn off the no uh, that's maybe a reason Uh, and I'm pretty sure it. I don't know. It's it's just too crazy for me, and a mod that is demanding when it comes to, or I had the feeling. Let us say it that way. I had the feeling that it is demanding to the detriment of the world that is in shambles anyway so i i said to myself no i will not i will not deal with this anymore so um i want to i want to go back out i want to show you something um that's a thing i have built while oof, not while i was dabbling around with that uh, i built that before uh, and that was the main thing I wanted to show off in in the in the last or not in the last video in the video I, I made kind of it, it's a weird thing I wanted to just show off another tank and now it ended up being a, a scrapped thing so I'm working on this here this here is a small oh why is it so damaged need to repair that um this is a, a small tank that is used to move wreckage we have so much wreckage around uh on the on the in the area where where assertive the assertive uh, installations come in that i need something that is able to push wreckage and is able to to move that stuff and remove that stuff so i've built this thing this thing again we germans would call that bergepanzer uh that's why i want to also put um is that no that's light armor that's why I also... That's light armor again. La la la, what did I want to say? This is why it has this this blade uh, or this pusher plate in front so that it can move the wreckage into the range of the bigger the bigger vehicle because it the, the stuff, the, the drones usually just drop close by. And by the way, the decision to go with Voxel, with the Voxel protection is kind of made. I have to really admit that I like the fact that I can, uh, that the drones don't, yeah, don't end up in uh, cratering all, all the areas around. I have to admit that, that I really, really like that. So five. I need. I need some blocks. Should I show off new blocks? I I don't know. You you. I'm pretty sure you all have seen the new blocks. We did a stream about it. Um, I have to admit, there's really really cool stuff in there. So the. Uh, I don't know. The, they they've put out an update completely without DLC. 
and it it's a neat thing they are they they updated unable to place the hinge part why oh okay in a way um uh, g no g heavy arm um, wrong <clears throat> they they updated a lot of the 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 existing dlc and um I have to admit that that worked out pretty well. Uh, attach. We can turn this off. It is off and it can stay turned off. Um, so they basically put in a lot of a lot of stuff into oh, okay no it's not what did I do here why I filled that up and didn't replace it with the right block G this is the right one mm. so there's new letter parts graded catwalks uh, all the stuff that that I have added with a lot of mods. Uh, that stuff is now in the game. The only problem is it's not perfect. So we can we we, we will now take a look a short look at it. It's not perfect. So there is new uh, new neon tubes, for example. There's also small neon tubes now for small grids that I really like. You can make cages around vehicles now or something. Also, there is something with the letters. There's a new letter that is reminiscent of the 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 old passage where there was a letter in there and now it is a uh, kind of a passage with a letter. You can climb up and there's a there's a grated catwalk on top. Uh, half blow, half graded catwalks. Um, what else? There's the new heavy armor slope transition base. So there's new blocks that are able now to put transitions into blocks that where you usually would have trouble transitioning. Do I have? The thing is, I avoided stuff like that here so <laughs> with these tanks the the old one the old one had that here for example case okay, so no that's that, that's not that's not a block in there but there, there's again there's there's blocks that now could this for example could could we solve this problem uh, not really with this no no it's you have to you have to search for that stuff a bit there is these blocks but you have to see if they if they work out it's it's a bit weird Oh, could it be this? No, that's... No, 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 no. We need half block and then the transition to this. Ah, it would be perfect. Maybe maybe it's a bit better than what we have there. Let us... Let us test that if we... If that's better. Not totally, but uh, we we will we will live with this now and be happy that we have these these cool new cool new blocks now. Um. Again, I I have to 
admit that I am at least happy that they still update and that they now again added more more stuff. It's they they have a bit of a incentive now to buy more of the to buy more of the DLCs. Can we let us let us test out the new <laughs> there's a they, <laughs> they've put in a new texture retro future weltless I can make my my <laughs> I can make my blocks now even more dreary with having just no texture not even the lines in there gray on gray <laughs> on gray I'm, I'm joking. I will not. I will not do that. I, it's, it, it, it will be just worse with it. There's more. There's also a plushie that I have to figure out how to get because you need special materials for it that you can't produce. It's just, it's just weird. Okay, back to this. Back to this. Back to this tanks. It ha uh, tanks. Uh, it has um, cargo storage, it has built-in repair systems, so it can uh, dismantle stuff on its own. But uh, I also want to put a crane on here that I haven't figured out yet. I've decided that I want to drive before I work more on this and get to a position where I can finally put in some of the, the work and uh, then drive back. Uh, it... it <laughs> I need a focus on on things to do now. I also I I don't know if I showed that 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 off. I also did a cabin for myself here. Um, uh, now that I decide that I want to make builds that are mainly for me, where I don't pretend that it has a crew of one thousand people or something. Like that, I decided that having maybe a cabin. Would be nice. I could. <gasps> oh. Oh, can I do that somewhere here? Or should I remove? I've put a bit of greenery in this, but I have to admit, maybe I remove the the tree and put in the new desk that's there. There's a new... There's also a new desk that we have now in the... It's an inverted... It's an inverted desk. I can now look at the wall. And ugh, I didn't use the right color. By the way, I need to go... Back to this... So there's a there's a new desk. I can sit to, to the wall now. I could also turn that around. I kind of I personally don't like sitting with my back towards the door. So, but I I will keep that keep that in here now. So a, a bit of a cabin so that I can get uh, get some heels, get some power, and uh, then go back to the bridge again. Um, that's what I want to do now. So I will drive more towards one of the things. Should we go up into the mountains there? Or should we go up into the mountains there? I'm. That's 11 kilo kilometers. That's 6. The thing is that the snowfield straight ahead seems to be the better... The better option, I have the feeling. So, to be careful, uh, the thrusters in the back push that thing really hard and it flies off uh, sometimes. And that's something I need to control. Good people, uh, let me do... Let me do some more kilometers and then I come back to you. I went to the spot that was 11 kilometers away um, the snowfield here is a bit bigger and I underestimated the drive here. It was 
painful. I'm <laughs> relatively close to the highway or the, the way I made for the for the truck. The traffic markers are over there and there's one of the cuts I did into the mountains to to have an easier drive here. Let's say it that way. The I don't know how this thing did it, but it did it somehow. Getting it back will be an absolute pain and I have to I have to consider how how to do this. Um the biggest problem that I have is that getting the pipeline back will be really hard um, because the the pipelines have to be relatively uh, in a relatively straight line. Curves curves will be crazy big, and I have to try to kind of space them out so that. One pipeline is not connecting to another one. As far as I know, it works better in in single player. So I have brought out the the other tank, and we will use that thing to drive there. And you can see that I had to build a bit of a ramp to to make this because this was just too high up. Um, and we will have to drive the last uh, one the last kilometer or so i hope that i'm still in the range for the weapons of the of the big rig or the the carrier come on i hope that i have enough materials in here otherwise i will have to drive back and forth uh sometimes but it hopefully should work out this little tank again holds uh, hopefully enough stuff to start a static drill up there and wind turbines and then we also build one of the pipeline connections and bring the the first pipeline back to the carrier and from there we go and um, start our way back to get the ice in uh, I'm, i don't know if this is a good idea and i don't know if it really works could be that the static drills don't really work on on the ice there uh, let me see i will again do a few yeah a bit of work and hopefully we can get this the, the first setup done and then I can start the drive back to hopefully then I don't know bring bring continuous continuous ice back to the ice back to the station it seems that I was here before uh, this doesn't look like a crater from something that crashed that's more a thing where where I drilled. Uh, I hope the tank doesn't struggle too much. Good. Let us just stay here. We have a line to the carrier, and we can just start everything from here. This is on, and now let us. We will line that up here and the first thing I should place is maybe a battery. A battery is something I'm pretty sure I don't have the parts for. But it should give us the option to not delete anything. Or that the that the built and repair system is not deleting everything immediately. Good, we'll go here. And do this and then have a block here and another one now we will oh no build and repair why thank you yeah we are missing 
power cells. Let's not... No, we are not missing power cells. That's good. We will have... A few blocks and then a column. To... Add some... Wind turbines. The thing is that... We will have to make a bit of a thing when it comes to the wind turbines. Um, not the wind turbines, the, sorry, the, the mechanisms to... When it comes to the... When it comes to the pipelines, they... They need power too, so I might... I don't know, I might try to do something that is a bit standardized I don't know good let me build this up and hopefully we oh no why we hopefully we can then run our our first static drill here Oh, by the way, I can delete these, not delete, but I can get rid of the conveyor adapters now because there is conveyor adapters now. Although I will keep them. There, there's the six-way conveyors. Uh, I might want to keep... And these. There's uh, uh, an option in game now for these. Uh, I should use them more. But I might keep the... I might keep the modded one too. <laughs> Good, let me... This works already. Let me do the static drill and the preparations for the pipeline. So that thing brings in ice, definitely. I have I've taken a look at it and it brings in ice. So we have that going for us. It's not a lot yet because it's not turned on. Uh, these things are so loud that I will not have them online while I'm standing next to them. So I'm uh, online. I, I'm not. I will not record once once I start that thing. Um, okay. Next thing is going down there, setting up the next part of the pipeline to see if that all works. So pipeline has to have a sorter and the sorter has to grab everything. So this thing doesn't have any cargo on it. I'm considering if I should build something close by with guns that then has cargo. But I am... I'm not sure. Once I'm gone here, then nothing should shoot that thing and uh, uh, I I hope that I can stay away as long as uh, so that this will not land in hot water here so I'm I gave it a bit of a frosting <laughs> that's to I don't know to have it look a bit nicer. The, the yellow seems to be something I really... I don't know. I do now. I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm. That's not usually a color I would consider, but I said here it is nice to see it in the in the snow. I don't know. Maybe maybe we do some more when it comes to color. We can, for example... This thing could be the typical candy cane color, so that it stands out even more. And then we yeah, now go down there, set up the next station of the pipeline network and hope that this then connects uh, there is a certain there is a certain amount of degrees that is that can't get 
higher than that otherwise it will not connect so we will have to stay close to the carrier build the pipeline station there see if this already pumps ice down the line and i will turn this here on because the pipelines are now considered to be um solid blocks because the in the, in the earlier version or there was kind of a a time where you could fly or walk or drive through the pipelines now they are solid blocks i have to think about making the whole thing a certain height so that at least smaller uh, smaller rovers can drive below them and that also gives me more flexibility when it comes to height differences so that uh, these things don't go through through some <laughs> through some uh, mountains hopefully that if I don't know if that happens we will see um, the the thing is I don't want to make them too crazy high um, so we will at one point have to have a part where even bigger rovers can go through so that we maybe make a station in between where there is a really long flat spot that we can put the 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 stuff on ground height so that rovers rovers the the carrier for example or the land cruiser can drive over the line and then continue that that is a consideration i have to make so but we we first want to see if the whole thing works and so we will do this thing uh, this will be the thing that holds everything in place now we need a block above and we will go with a solid block and a block below, below. Uh, here we don't need to continue the middle oh. the middle stations don't need a sorter so here we just need power um let me refill my jetpack on the pipelines i hope you can see that there are these arrows in multiplayer they're not really <laughs> i don't know something is happening there that it doesn't accept that this needs to point away from the station so basically they point to where you want to go let us hope this works now does it connect oh it doesn't connect oh no oh it could be because power let me grab a column again and some turbines or a turbine i hope that one is enough no, not very redundant but i don't want to go too crazy with that thing no it can't be a power issue because there is power on there i might have to make the whole thing higher to get over the the hump that's in the way there let me see if that works this took longer than i like to admit and a drive back to the drill and a drive back to somewhere in the middle the pipelines have a range of around a kilometer and i was one point something something kilometers away so this should work now hopefully pipeline thank you is it still solid is it it is still solid one thing you have to keep in mind when working with these is you have to kind of build uh around them before the the pipeline now 
intersects with stuff, so it has a hitbox. And uh, you have to place these blocks before you can't place them afterwards. Uh, afterwards. So uh, I need to see if there is stuff being transferred or if I have ice. So there is stuff being transferred between these points. So now I can put a turbine on top. One turbine is, by the way, enough. So I'm getting away with this kind of construction. And then now I can continue this uh, going down the line, hopefully up until I reach the Mars base in something kilometers. I have to see if how that works out. I'm trying to curve that now to somewhere over there where there is the uh, one of the points where I broke through the mountain and kind of keep the line going so I will go and try to set up uh, set it up over at that ridge so that the truck could still drive into to its destination that uh, I should maybe do that with a smaller. I might do that with this rover and then basically bring the, the I will try to bring the carrier over there uh, and uh, then the, the problem that I have now is that I don't want to go out every every few I, I now have to every kilometer get the rover out drive the rover out build drive the rover back in and so on and i might see if i can set that up so that i can do this with a big rover i'm i'm not sure we will we will see one thing i want to do is grab some blocks for around the base make that a bit nicer and then hopefully hopefully i can get that done in in reasonable amounts of time because again i want to now go back to space do some stuff there. I got some inspirations on my Discord from uh, Lola Senpai that uh, that were some nice ships, and I want to take a big chunk of inspiration from that and maybe have something like that uh, for myself. <laughs> we will we will have to see. Uh, good, but I think. That is all here. We can con or I can continue this now and bring the ice back to the base. I think, people, that's all for today. Again, this was a, a kind of a mess because I, yeah, I had this whole aerodynamic physics thing that I ran into and I ran my head into the wall too much and I had to stop doing that so now i'm back onto this and then uh, we go back to space and do some episodes there i would say um people i say thanks for watching i hope you liked this episode if you did please leave a like on the video that helps me out a bunch and i hope to see you in the next one see you guys